the Bluetooth ability to scanners are becoming very popular simply because they are easy to carry around, they are cheap and they provide really good value for the money. Even the cheapest adapters, this VPIC costs under $20 and offers maybe 2-3 times more functionality than basic engine code readers. For example, doing full scan or even ECU coding with apps like Carista. And since they can connect to your smartphone, which everyone already has, all you need is to buy one of these OBD2 adapters. I have a lot of experience with these Bluetooth OBD2 adapters, I have been using them for months, some even for years, and I will be talking about the best option for multiple categories such as best budget pick, best for professional use, best for Volkswagen, Audi and other categories. And before I show you the adapters, this is free PDF you can download, which will take you to OBD2 basics. What is OBD? How to choose OBD scanner? How to use OBD scanner? It explains default codes. It explains how you can detect real mileage with OBD2 scanner. How you can do ECU coding and it is completely for free, you can download it by link in description. And the same goes for these adapters, every adapter that I will be featuring will have link in description. Okay, that's everything as introduction and here are my 5 best picks. If you don't want to spend a lot of money, this is the best choice for you. VPIC adapter costs around $17, the iOS one may be $25 and you can use this very good free app called Car Scanner ELM OBD2 which also has premium version, but it costs only $5 for lifetime use. Okay, so $5 for the app, let's say $20 for the VPIC, so this whole diagnostic setup will cost you only $25. It lets you read fault codes not just from the engine, but also from every other system in your vehicle, like transmission, radio, ABS, every other control unit. You can read live data from your engine, and you can display four different live data graph at once. There are some two three hundred dollar tools that doesn't have this feature or they only show one graph. Here you can look at four different graphs at once or watch different values in the same graph together. It also have bunch of other stuff. You can look at data from the sensors, you can do acceleration test, you can do emission test. And for some vehicles, this app can also do ECU coding, which means unlocking hidden features. I was able to teach my Toyota this trick. Not bad for $25. I would advise literally anyone to buy this. You spend $25 and you can at least do your own diagnostic tests. You can watch data. You know, you can verify the faults. Even if you don't plan on repairing them yourself, you can at least verify if the car service shop isn't trying to scam you by changing other parts that are completely okay. And if you put some effort into learning about this live data, how should they act and what are the good and bad values, you can use simple chip setup like this to diagnose your own engine problems. You will be amazed how much can you diagnose if you understand live data and you only have to use simple OBD2 setup like this and digital multimeter. The fourth place goes to OBD Link MX Plus and it is basically the VP on steroids. It is way faster, the connection is safer, and you can use the OBD Link app, which is very similar to previously shown car scanner app, but OBD Link costs around $140, $150. And you may be wondering why you should pay so much money since you can buy the cheap VPIC. Well, outside of the fact that this adapter is maybe three times faster, there are two main advantages. First one is that OBD Link MX Plus can connect not just to Android or iOS, but you can also use it for laptop OBD2 software, so you can connect it to your computer. And the second reason, it is best for using with ECU coding apps. The apps like Carista or Beamer Code are designed to unlock hidden features of your vehicle, but if you do it with slow adapter, you are risking damaging your control modules because you lose connection and you will interrupt the coding process there is a risk of breaking your control module. That's why you want to use fast adapter like this when doing any coding. I mean, I did use VPIC for a lot of coding with Carista or Car Scanner app and nothing went wrong yet. But still, if you want to do coding, it is better to invest in faster and more secure adapter.
Okay, now we will take a little break from generic OBD adapters because the bronze medal goes to OBD11 adapter which is made for Volkswagens, Audis and other VAG vehicles. If you have Volkswagen, Audi, Skoda and Seat, don't look at any of other adapters. You definitely need OBD11. It will be the best you can buy. It packs a lot of OEM functionality like long coding, adaptations, service procedures, bidirectional tests. Like this is one of very few professional OBD OBD2 adapters that can be used with your smartphone. I have a lot of other OBD11 videos which are linked in description so you can watch it and I want to move to next adapters because I don't want to get boring for guys which doesn't have Volkswagen or Audis. Ok, and now best OBD2 adapters for professional use and this is the first and second place together. I have here only one of them and I will explain you why. So this is ThinkDeac2 and it is looking a little bit different than other OBD2 scanners but you plug this connector into your car and you will connect your smartphone to this box which also makes it a lot faster than other adapters. So the ThinkDeac2 is made by ThinkCar which is owned by launch company which makes those professional scan tools that you can find in car service shops that cost more than $1,000. Now you have their software packed into this Bluetooth package. When you use it, you really feel that you are using professional car service software. It can fastly scan all modules, it can do ECU coding, you can read bunch of data, for example, verify real mileage of vehicle, use service procedures like injector coding, unlocking electronic brake calipers, you are basically getting this professional handheld scanner features in this Bluetooth package. It is really good. It has great vehicle coverage, more than 10,000 car models. The connection is also fast because it uses CAN FD protocol which makes the transfer of information faster. And same as the other adapters, I have separate video about the thing the Act 2. You can watch it to get a better feel about what it can do. But really this tool can, I can easily picture this tool being used in car service shop. Maybe some customers from older generation will be scared of mechanic using the smartphone scanners to diagnose their vehicles. But it is 2023 and those devices really came far. You basically, this is professional scanner and it, it is cheaper because it uses your smartphone so obviously you don't have to pay for the built-in tablet. And if you are wondering about price, the thing the Act 2 costs around $150 but it has one catch, you have to pay yearly subscription of $80. When you pay $150 you get the device and first year and from the second year you need to start paying $80 per year. Now is it worth it? Definitely it is. Regardless of what OBD2 scanner are you using, the best ones always require you to pay subscription to update it or use it. Now for what it can do, it really isn't that much money, but I understand that not everyone is looking to pay yearly for OBD2 scanner, so I have solution for you. As I said, I am talking about the number one and number two place together. I am considering the thing the act the best OBD2 scanner, but if you don't want to pay subscription, you can use very similar device, Xtool A30, which is also made by professional scan tools manufacturer Xtool, and it also does the service process procedures, full diagnostic features, it has big vehicle coverage. But the one con is that it cannot do ECU coding, which think they can, but you just buy it and you don't have to pay any subscription to use it. I don't have it here, but it is also linked with others. Okay, so these are my four best picks. I am using every of them more than half a year and each of them is very useful. And let me say this, if you are looking for your first tool, just start with VP, you don't need anything fancy. Buy this for $20, you really can't go wrong with this. Just use it first and you will see yourself. If it's not enough, you can then transfer to something like ThinkDiac to have more professional device. If you don't know how to use it, once again the information can be found in my free PDF which is linked below. But I am also... I will now take the one adapter, I think the VPIC. I have my car here and I will make simple guide on how to use it as beginner. So if you are watching this, the guide on how to use it will be out maybe three days later. Okay, so that is everything.